What's up guys? In today's video, we'll be talking about the best WhatsApp automation app that is available on the Play Store for Android devices. Now, if you enjoy mobile related content like this one, please subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on all the pro tips that I'll be dropping in subsequent videos. Let's jump right in. Now, we are going to be looking at different WhatsApp automation apps to be able to determine which one is actually best among them. And we are looking at them based on three main criteria. The first being, does it actually work as advertised? Are there really autoresponder apps? Can they respond to WhatsApp messages when they come in? That's number one. Number two, can we schedule messages using these apps? If we can, we are later going to see in the video. The third thing that we are going to look at is, can we carry out what is called rule-based reply on these apps? In a case where we can successfully do all this, then you will be the judge as to which one is best. Now, the apps we are going to be looking at is What's Bot, What's Auto, Skedit, Do It Later. So let's jump into the screen recording to actually see them in action. To kick off the comparison, let's check out what's bot. It's already installed on my device, so I'll open it. Now it's open. Let's tap on the plus sign on the bottom right to add a new rule. There are different types of rules that can be added in what's bot. So the rule that we are going to add here is going to be for all messages. So let's tap on that. It allows you to, to select the app that you want the what's bot to be active on. This time around, I want it to be active on my WhatsApp business account. And uh, here is where you provide the reply message that you want. And then you select all contacts if you want the message to be delivered to all contacts. If you want the message to be delivered only to some specific contact, then you can provide the contacts there. We want the WhatsApp to reply to all contacts whenever a message arrives. So we tap OK. So in this case, I have to deactivate other, other rules that were set to avoid having conflicts. So I'm going to load up my WhatsApp account now and send a message to my WhatsApp business account to see if the WhatsApp uh, auto reply system actually works. So here I'm just going to say hello. And once I do that, I expect a reply. All right. Now the message has delivered and our reply has come in immediately. So the WhatsApp app has the ability to reply immediately. Let's set up another rule on WhatsApp. Actually, I already have a rule here. Assuming you are a business person and you expect people to contact you via your WhatsApp, you can set up WhatsApp in such a way that if somebody asks, sends you a message and it contains the word price, contains the word product, and contains the word service, WhatsApp can send a tailored message to that contact. So let's accept that and then Let's try to see if it works. Now, as you can see, this other message contains the word price and also contains the word product. So let's send and then see what happens. WhatsApp works very well with rule-based messaging and it also works very well with auto reply. So let's take a look at What's Auto. Now, this is the interface of What's Auto. It's very basic and simple. Now, let's turn on auto reply. What's Auto allows us to add tags such as first name, depending on the first name of the person that is sending you the message. You can reply with a personalized message like name, first name, or last name. You can set a custom reply and you can also set up a server reply or a dialogue flow reply. Everyone that sends a message to this line should get a reply. So let's go to our WhatsApp account again and send a message to... Okay, I just sent hi to my WhatsApp business account and I got an automated reply immediately from What's Auto, as you can see. So the What's Auto app actually works as an auto reply app. I cannot find any indication whether or not what auto provides rule based replies, but so far it works as an auto reply app only. It does not support scheduling of messages and it does not support the rule based reply. So that is that for what auto. So now let's take a look at Skedit. All right, this is what the interface of Skedit looks like. So let's tap on WhatsApp. Skedit is a lot more robust. From what I'm seeing here, you can send messages, you can schedule messages, you can schedule repeated messages. So let's give that a shot. We are setting up the message that will be delivered to my WhatsApp business account and that will be delivered 
at exactly 10 o'clock so let's see if that works now it's asking me to change screen lock Mm. So which means since the message is being scheduled, there is a likelihood that when the app is ready to send the message, my screen might be locked and it requires that I change my screen lock. And it tells me expressly here, if I ignore this, that the message will fail. Hmm. I don't know if that's a good thing or not because I like my screen lock intact. So let's ignore. Well, based on what we've seen here, we've seen that it requires us to modify our device quite substantially. For me to be able to schedule a message, that means I have to compromise my device or my personal security, which is not the best. Let's see if we can, apart from scheduling messages, let's see if there's any other thing that we can do. It looks like the strong point of Skedit is mainly to send the scheduled messages only no rule based reply no auto reply to messages so that is that for skedit let's take a look at do it later now this is the interface of do it later and uh, i have seen that there are two things that can be done here you can set auto reply that is to all messages and you can schedule your messages so let's set an auto reply message i want it to auto reply to whatsapp now you can set your auto reply when you receive a new message and you can set your auto reply to trigger when you missed an incoming call that's an, a very useful feature that i've not seen in other apps when you miss an incoming call you can set to an automatic message to reply to that person and if you have a new message the auto reply can still send a message so let's give this a shot to see if this will actually work unfortunately there are so many ads and of course i had talked about in one of my previous videos how to block ads on your android device so let's give it a shot to see if it will actually work okay so i just sent a message to my main whatsapp account and do it later sent in a reply immediately so i believe that do it later also works as per auto reply okay let's go back to auto reply and see how flexible this auto reply can be because of course whatsapp is not listed on that schedule so it is only on that auto reply so let's take a closer look what else can we do here to set up rule based reply on do it later there is an option here incoming messages so when you tap on that you have the options to reply to messages that start with a particular text that ends with a particular text that contains a particular text or an exact match on a particular text so from and what we've seen here do it later also supports rule based messaging so let's set up a rule based message and see if we can actually get it to send us a reply so we tap ok we want do it later to send us a message when we send it a message that contains the word price so we have set up a rule that this message will only deliver if we if we send it a message that contains the word price so we save that then we move over to whatsapp and send it a message so let's type a message that contains the word price okay so do it later has identified the fact that it contains the word price and sends us the appropriate response so we can auto reply to all messages using do it later we can set up rule based reply using do it later so let's see if we can schedule messages well at first glance I, I i don't seem to see where we can set up um scheduled messages using do it later if this video was useful to you please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video